and gentlemen, oh, let's go. Travel, life, and fun. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. Here. You're listening to the Life Adventurous Podcast, presented by Say What Radio. The Life Adventurous Podcast is for fun-loving people who want to find, create, and live with adventure as a norm in their lives. Not just that type of adventure that makes you shit your pants, but the type of adventure that lights up your soul and helps you to feel even more alive. I'm Jenny Halla, your podcast host, and welcome to Your Life Adventure. Hello. I think I have a thing with black sand beaches and wanting to go live. This one's really cool. Got mountain view. It's not as black as Punaloo, Black Sand Beach, but we rode our bikes here and you have to go through a, uh, a neighborhood to get here and then to give you access and it's really cool. So the question of today is how do you reconnect with yourself and really feel alive again, especially if it's something like through the corporate hustle. And I'll share a story. I have a corporate job right now and I'm dedicated to it and I care about my clients and I enjoy traveling the country and I enjoy helping them out. And I was so dedicated to it that every time I was talking to friends or family, which really I didn't have many friends I was hanging out with at the time because all of my friends were all my corporate friends. And I was talking about my corporate friends, which is awesome. They're great people, but I really didn't have anything like that was really lighting me up. And yes, I got excited while I was traveling and I was still doing things and seeing things. But the difference is, is I really just felt ultimately disconnected from who I am and what lights me up and what brings me joy because I was working so much and I was putting in so many hours and everything I was doing was about work in my corporate job, in my corporate life. And one of the biggest things that if you're feeling the same way, if you're feeling really disconnected from yourself and who you are and you don't really feel alive, you don't feel that spark because you're so in in your corporate job or your hustle or whatever it is you're doing like you're so sucked in one of the biggest ways is that you can start rebuilding your confidence and I know that can sound like wishy-washy but there are some key ways that I believe that help you rebuild your confidence and one of the ways is really setting boundaries I had to really look at my schedule and start setting boundaries and say okay I'm only gonna work between these hours or I'm only gonna work between these times And I mean, if you understand what I'm talking about, go ahead and post below and be like, yo, like I got to put boundaries on my life because that is such a big deal. So I started saying, all right, I'm not taking calls after 6 p.m. You know, I'm not working after 6 p.m. This is my time to spend with me and with my husband and with my family and with my passions and reconnect and rediscover who I am. So with those boundaries on what you're doing, what can you do to reconnect with yourself, your family, your passions? And, you know, I found that I like to ride bikes. So in that time, I go ride my bike or I go, Jay and I have J&J Experience. It's like our date night. We call it J&J Experience because we go experience the world together. And it allowed me to be even more present and even more available there. That's one of the ways is really putting boundaries. Another way to build confidence is to re-tap into passions. One of the things that I noticed is when I started reconnecting with myself and when I started rediscovering myself and finding that passion again, is some of the things that I used to like, I don't necessarily like anymore. So it was a whole new level of rediscovery. So you may find that there are new things that are calling you, that are new passions that are waiting for you. And it's fun to go find those. And as you start stepping out and you start putting yourself out there and you start trying new things, that builds confidence for you and starts to build that reconnection with yourself, starts to allow you to feel alive again. And it really only takes a couple of these steps. It really only takes a couple of these things for you to really, really begin to feel alive. And it can happen pretty quickly. You can get quick wins. You can feel great quickly. But you have to move forward. So boundaries, setting boundaries for yourself on your time, on your energy, on your friends, on your resources. So setting those types of boundaries and sticking to them. That's a big deal. And then the other thing is really like rediscovering what it is that you like to do. What lights you up, makes you happy, and then going and doing it. So for me, like I said, it's riding bikes and getting outdoors. And I wasn't doing a lot of that because I was working so much. 
So I encourage you to start reconnecting with yourself and rediscovering and reigniting your life. And you don't have to be, I just happen to be in Hawaii. You don't have to be in Hawaii to do that. You can be anywhere in the world. You can even be in your own backyard. It's pretty great and amazing what you have right next to you and right in your own backyard. So please post below any questions that you have or if there's anything that I can do to help you really reconnect. Well, I'm excited for you to really reconnect with yourself and live your best life. And as I said on my last video, I'll be doing more videos for you guys to help you and to help you connect and live a better life and live a 360 degree life. And I don't know, just have fun. All right. Bye. Until next time.